and we are live hey Hi, guys everyone. hey welcome back to another episode of the relationship corner with sarah and myself today we're going to be talking about money right and the relationship yeah. with money and before we even start the conversation i would love to share something with you guys about money and it's a book that i've been reading called rich as fuck by Amanda Francis. And Love just it. to share a little bit more about how money and abundance starts with us, right? That's like connecting it back to self. So it says, as you've already gathered, this money thing isn't really dependent on hard work, following formulas, restricting your desires, and playing it safe. Mastering money is about choosing your thoughts and feelings about money intentfully, intentionally. The thoughts you think on repeat become your beliefs. The beliefs you hold determine your energetic expectations. Your en energetic expectations determine how the world works with and responds to you. How the world works with and responds to you creates a dynamic and par paradigms by which you live. It often feels like fate, luck, good luck, good fortune, etc. But it all started and ended with you. So I feel like that was so good for like what we're about to talk about right now. Absolutely. I love it. Thanks for sharing that. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, yeah, today we were going to discuss uh, money, but also prosperity. And like we were kind of chatting yesterday about it is um, a lot of times people get confused between the difference between prosperity and money. They actually think it's really the same thing, which prosperity is having money. That's always a great thing, right? I mean, it's, it feels like it's a gift and you're like, yay, you know, I got money and prosperity and I, all things are great, but are they really, right? So yeah. kind of going through some of that too and um, some people that I know and it's when you don't have all things aligned in yourself, such as your family life is kind of on point, your health, your just the way that you feel in all different aspects and you feel very balanced and well-rounded, mm -hmm. but you have money, then you don't have full prosperity. Prosperity is all things, all things in balance, all things that align you to have the most balanced and centered feeling. So if you're working your ass off at work mm -hmm. and you're not giving time for yourself, for your family or things that are important to you and you're just working, but you're making that paycheck and you're getting the money, but to what expense, right? Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's so funny that you're saying that because I remember hearing like early in my I lost you, Narita. Yeah. I keep getting phone calls. <laughs> oh, don't call her right now. <laughs> oh, wait, I can't hear you. Hi. Okay. Okay. I feel popular for the last like, five minutes of my life. <laughs> I was going <laughs> to say, um, it's funny that you, you, you know, like you're saying that because I remember in my early 20s hearing or kind of getting in touch with like the spirituality part and like the more about how education isn't everything or money isn't everything. Mm -hmm. I remember thinking like, okay, I'm hearing these stories, how people reach these type of successes and at the end they still feel empty or they're reaching all this type of money and at the end they still feel empty. Yeah. And I remember making like the conscious choice of, okay, it's not going to be about money. Like I want to pursue experiences. I want to pursue like self growth and healing mm -hmm. And it felt very unknown because it's like, I don't know anybody else in my life who's in that path. So am I going to be okay at the end of the day? Right. And it's crazy because like I'm entering my thirties and now I have people personal in my life who I hear stories where they've reached this type of success and yet they're unhappy or they're unfulfilled. Mm -hmm. And it makes me feel so proud of myself of like, oh, I'm so happy that I went through something that was very unknown to me. Yeah. And I'm still very stuck to to my own gut choice. Yeah. You know, so it's interesting because it's true, right? Like I just saw a video by Will, uh, Will Smith and this guy was asking him, like, how much do you make? Like it says on Google that you make X amount of million dollars. 
And Will Smith is like, well, I don't like to talk about that stuff. Yeah. But he was like, but I do wish that everybody could get a chance to buy everything that they want because at the end of the day, it doesn't make you happy. Yeah. It's um, true. Yeah. Yeah. I've gone through a lot of mind shifts as well because as growing up, I always thought that, you know, you have to make a certain amount of money a year to be considered successful or you're not, you know, you didn't make it in the world or whatever. And um, I've changed, I've shifted my mindset significantly. I don't feel that way at all because I feel like the most richest person in the world for myself mm -hmm. and for my family because I can yeah. be there for my family and I have that time to do that. Now, not everybody has that opportunity. You know, a lot yeah. of people are like breadwinners and they have to really hustle and do what they have to do. But that doesn't mean that you can't make sure, I mean, you can, you can fit 15, 20 minutes of your day to do something for you, whether that's just watching a show, meditating, maybe exercising in your living room or, you know, playing with your kids or whatever it may be yeah. and focus on something that's super important that will give you a little bit more fulfillment in a different aspect than just money. Right. So yeah. Um, one more thing I wanted to mention too is I think it was last week, my daughter, my stepdaughter, I, I don't call her my stepdaughter, my daughters, yeah. <laughs> they came up to me. I got one biological daughter and I got two stepkids. So I've got three kids, but, um, mm -hmm. one of my stepgirls, she came up to me and she goes, mommy, Sarah, are we rich? She's mm -hmm. eight. And I Aww. said, I go, yes, we are. We are very rich. I said, uh -huh. you, all you girls and all of us, we're healthy. Aww. We're all happy. We have a roof over our heads. We have food on our, on our tables. Yeah. Um, you know, uh -huh. I, I listed off all the things that we have. And I said, so you girls are very rich. Indeed. I wanted to put it in a perspective for her. So she realizes it's not about the tangible money. It's not yeah. about that. Yeah. So, yeah, it's that's a huge relationship. You're teaching them very young too, like what abundance or prosperity is. Yes, right. Because right? a lot of us, I think, as adults or when we're kind of in our twenties, thirties, whatever, it's like we only think success or prosperity is one thing, and it's oh, not. Can I buy that Last thing? Night, or yeah, like, last time, my partner and I, we were like, oh, like what's one thing that you're grateful for? You know, and one of the things that I said was, oh, you know, like. I'm so grateful of the simplicity of being able to go to Sprouts and get like a green juice. Yeah. Like, able to like put gas in my car, just like uh -huh. the little things, right? Where in the moment, because I've had those spaces where in the moment I'm like, oh my God, I feel very like I'm not making enough or like that whole story of black. And then when I'm showering, it's so funny because I, I remember sometimes like my travels where I've gone to places and there's no hot water. Right. So in my shower, for some reason, I'm always like, oh, my God, I'm so abundant. Like I have hot water. Yeah. And then I start thinking about my day. Right. Where it's like, oh, and I have a car and like the little things. Right. And then I'm back to like that space of abundance and gratitude. Right. And, and yeah. when you think that way, you start to recognize way more things that you do have that's very abundant. And you start noticing all the little things that are in abundance. Right. Like, I mean. I love the fact that I come home and I'm, I'm at home and I get to just throw my pajamas on and cuddle up in my blanket and just yeah. be cozy, cozy and warm. And it's just, God, I, I sit in my room or in the living room. And I'm just like, oh, I'm just oh. so lucky. I That's just so it. sweet. Yeah, I just, yeah. I love my house. I just, I love my kids. I, I love the little things that I have. I love that we have our little banters and our fun and, mm -hmm. you know, all that just, it fulfills me. Because I have so much yeah. and we can provide for our family and our kids, but it doesn't need to be in like an excess where it's unnecessary and then we're just trying to fulfill like an, it's never going to, our, our cup will never be full in that, in that mentality, yeah. right? Yeah. If we're always thinking about it, success is money, we're never going to have a full cup ever. Yeah, because it's still like lack, right? Like it's still very yeah. lack mindset. Yes. Yeah. It really is. And, um, so I'm, I'm kind of like, not kind of, I hate that word. I am into feng shui. <laughs> I don't <laughs> like using little naysay words. I am into feng shui. I love feng shui. I love clear energy. Right. So, uh -huh. um, my house, 
I've created it to have a really nice flow. So there's not a lot of clutter. There's just, I'm very minimal. I don't like a lot of things, but I like walking into my home and things just kind of like feels open. Right. Okay. And so, um, I did a many spring, I do many spring cleans throughout the year. And so we decided to do a spring clean. Um, I decided to do a spring clean in our <laughs> filing cabinet because we have a filing cabinet. And um, mine was on my end was pretty good. Um, my husband's though, his was just like thrown papers. <laughs> and I've been meaning to like, you need to clear this out, you know? And I'm trying to get him to understand that this actually has a lot of significance in energy flow, even though it's in a drawer. It's still, it's yeah. space that could be used more efficiently, right? We could use, yeah. we could clear it out and we can actually have more room to put things that we do need it for, right? Mm -hmm. So I cleared out my part of it. He cleared out his part of it, which led him to clear out a lot of other things on That's his awesome. part in the room. And it was like a couple days later, a lot of flow started happening for him nice. specifically, for him progressing forward in certain aspects and yeah. certain things like with his band and just a bunch of different things were kind of like on the up and up and things were looking really po positive. I'm just choking on my spit. We're looking very positive <laughs> and like, <laughs> like <laughs> things were looking really positive. And it was like, I told him, I said, there is no such things as coincidences. The fact that yeah. you and we feng shui our freaking filing cabinet, which led you to clean out your closet, which led you to clear out all of the space on top of your amps that are in the room. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> now, <laughs> that was really good. Just what? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> was it my spit or? <laughs> um, so it was like a day or two later, things were just whoo, flowing up. And I'm like, OMG, yeah. like this right here, this is exactly what I feel like we should be talking about is energy and fluidity and flow so and clear. For you, right? For those people who've never heard of, of feng shui, like what is it? Because I feng also totally believe in it. I didn't even know there was like a word to it until recently, mm -hmm. but there's been times where like, I feel like it's time for me to like go close because there's energy. Oh yeah. Like yes. dumps of clothes, like same with certain debt. It's like, I've heard that like when you have, and one time I heard it once where it's like, oh, if you have debt and it's like 10 years ago, it's like that energy is still carrying into your present. So I've tried my best to clear out that debt. Right. Mm -hmm. But is it's not until maybe I met like Lucinda and like I met Daryl where it's like, okay, like it's a thing, like it's energy. It's even like the doors and Daryl likes to, like the bed, like a certain way, like the mirrors and stuff. And I'm like, okay, like I'm open to that it. is advanced. So let me, uh, for me, <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Well, if people are watching and they have no idea what you're talking about, like what is feng shui? Um, so I'm going to tell you right now because I want to get, give everybody a really, I know what it is, but sometimes if you yeah, have yeah. a better definition, um, the meaning of feng shui, um, okay. That's confusing. Um, so, okay. So really it's, it's influencing energy is what you're doing. So everything is energy. Everything around you is energy. Uh, we are all energy. Everything has energy, right? And like exactly what you were saying, like trying to clear out clutter. Everyone knows what spring cleaning is, right? And then what it happens after you spring clean. How do you feel, right? You feel, you feel good. So refreshed. Very yeah. refreshed. You feel like, okay, now I have room for something else to put in its place that I'm actually going to use, right? That's an energy. So that's a positive energy. That's an energy with a lot of flow and a lot of fluidity, right? It's a feeling that you get as well. So when, um, I don't know, I looked on my Google thing. It was just, it was very cluttery, I, the way that it was explaining it. So I'll just tell you in Sarah's words. So like yeah. when you walk into a home and you feel it a certain way in your home, that is energy. That's like a feng shui feel. So okay. if you take, if you have like clutter, you remove it. Now you feel like the energy can flow more smoothly and you just walk in feeling like you just spring cleaned that, that feeling. Right. Yeah. So yeah. some people do like, um, like the bed has to be facing a certain way and then this with that and this, and that's totally like a little bit above my pay grade. Like I don't really do that yet because I don't, I'm not sure, but I do it more with the feeling that I get when I'm in my space. So okay. in my salon, how do I feel? 
when, how would I feel if I was a client walking in? Do I feel like it's overpowered and it's too much and people can't really walk through or it just has yeah. no rhyme or reason, right? Like how do people feel when they walk in here? That's feng shui to me. Okay. So another so, question, right? Because I know the topic today is about money. Yeah. Okay. How does feng shui and money, like, how do you think they cor correlate? Okay. So when you're feeling like you have a lot of clutter in your life, okay? So like my husband and me and us clearing our bedroom and spring cleaning it and feng shuiing it and making the energy flow. When you have that flow going through, like it's, you feel like it's just more consistent and it's flowing well, there's no stagnance. There's no, like the energy is flowing and it's not being pushed out into different directions and it's like stopping, right? It's, that's a like symbolism of things in your life. So when you have more flow in your space, then money tangible money, mm -hmm. prosperity, and other ways are going to be able to flow with more fluidity. You're not going to have stuck, stagnant energy causing that because the energy is trying to come in. The yeah. flow is trying to come in, but it's being stopped by clutter. So okay. it's yeah. clearing your space, a clean, clean uh, space is a clean mind, right? So when you're feeling clear, when you walk in and you have a clear space, your mind is clear. You think with more clarity, right? You think uh -huh. clearer, more clearer, clearer. <laughs> you think more clear, you make clearer decisions, you make more, um, your focus is better. So your decision makings are better. So all of that flows. It's just, it's one big flow. So then you start noticing that, oh, dang, like, I just spring cleaned. I'm feeling really good. And then something yeah. positive happens. You acknowledge it and you're like, hell yeah. Thanks to the feng shui, like things are flowing and you're, you're going to be bringing in more of that positive energy and you're going to be receiving it so, with more ease. So a lot of it too, it is like, again, like we always go back to the space of like being aware, right? Like in our lives where we feel that stuckness or where we feel that clutter or where we just feel those kind of tense feelings in our lives, right? Like focus our, our awareness on that and then work through it to unclear it. Yeah right? So more flow could come through. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And it's hard. Sometimes people aren't able to fully grasp it. Like they're just like, well, but I don't really have the energy to do that. Or I'm not sure. I don't really feel, you know, some people don't really feel so like, like yeah. pushed and driven to do certain things. And that's okay. I like to say positive affirmations for myself because that really definitely helps shift my mindset to okay. get into the, the drive of clearing my space. You so, know, it's a, even as you're saying that, right? Like I would even want to challenge very lovingly the people who are like, I don't have time or I don't know about that. Kind of like to reflect on like, okay, like what is it about this energy that makes me comfortable? Or yeah. like, what is it about this energy that makes it feel like safe? Because yes. like, it, it, it reminds me sometimes of people who are so comfortable and being uncomfortable and it becomes kind of like a safety net. Yes. Because it feels like when you clear out all this stuff, it's like, it's so true. You do make space for more to come, but it's yeah. like, that's even uncomfortable for some people too, for that prosperity, for that abundance. Because like, they're I, like, I don't know what to do with it if I have it. <laughs> well, you know, because the book that I'm reading, um, I love the book. So it talks about that, how some people like the, la the reason why they lack money is because a lot of them have like this subconscious fear of like, well, what do I do when I have a lot of money? Like, they wouldn't know how to handle it. And there's that fear. Like, we think that fear could be like, oh, there's this fear of, you know, like, it's going to go away one day or it's going to be too good to be true. But it's like, actually, even the good, abundant prosperity feelings could be fearful to some people. Mm -hmm. You know, like that question, like, oh, what if I succeed? Like, that's scary to some people. Right. Yeah. 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 But what if you do and it's the best thing in the world? And what if you yeah. don't ever try and you never know and you always wonder, right? So uh, my my thing's always like, oh, that thing that you desire so much, whether like that's that's peace or their prosperity or the abundance, it's always through and on the other side of what you don't are resistant to go through, you know? Right. Like fear to go through. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah um, but that's the, but that's part of the journey of life and that's what makes life exciting. It's not staying in the stagnance of the everyday. It's 
pushing yourself to go just even if it's like like a half an inch closer to the other side of the yeah. spiral of the stagnance, right? Even if you take one little tiny step, like hmm, like it could be something very tangible. Like I'm going to clear my little table right there that I haven't touched in like two months. Yeah. It's like such a small little thing and you don't do anything for another two more months, but that's one little step towards <laughs> a little bit more clear energy, right? And yeah. you just see where that takes you and that could lead you to clearing out your entire house. <laughs> yes. But then, you know, it comes back. Cause like, yeah. when you come back, like you do feel so much better. Like you, you feel more motivated, you. you know, and it's, it's actually crazy. Cause I've heard studies where it's like, Oh, when you do one little thing, like make your bed in your brain, your brain takes it as like an achievement, right? Yes. Like the reward kind of dopamine that hits your brain where it's like, okay, cool. Like I did that. Like, that's awesome. I mean, so it starts off with like cleaning your desk, your whole house. And at the end you're there, you may be tired, but it feels so accomplishing. You like, know, that's something that I do every day. I make my bed every single morning and uh -huh. my husband something <laughs> sometimes says like, well, we're going to sleep in it later. And I'm like, okay, well, I don't know if, and somebody could, you know, tell me if I'm wrong, but I think I've heard that this was a, uh, a thing in like the army Navy, or I don't know, something like that. Where like, that's a big deal. Like they make them make their bed every morning because if they don't do, well, they make them do a lot of things in, in the military, but um, if you don't do anything at all, all day long, at least you succeeded in one thing. <laughs> Make your bed, people. <laughs> there's this, there's this one guy. He did like I forgot his name, but he was part of the like the Marines. But he did this uh, like that graduation kind of ceremony talk. Yeah, and it's supposed to be motivating, right? And yeah, he starts off with, "Is you guys are graduating? Make your bed every morning." And he goes on to like a whole speech about that. It's like, that's the success. That's where like everything starts is making your bed in the morning. Make your bed. I tell my girls that every morning I say, girls, make your bed, brush your teeth, like all the basic things that you think, you know, whatever. Sometimes they lack on it. And I'm like, nope, you're coming right back. You're doing it because if you don't do anything else, at least you made your bed. Yeah. Like, yeah. and it's a feng shui thing. I'm teaching them about feng shui. So it's like you want your energy in your room to flow freely. Otherwise, yeah. you're going to walk in. You're going to feel, uh, you know, like you don't really feel that good. So I see comments. I want to like acknowledge it. So I want to, let's see. So Allison's on here. Hey, Allison. Hi, she Allison. Did, oh, I think is it. Oh, yeah. So it says declutter equals makes you feel better. Feel better. Exactly. Yeah. She also mentioned declutter, decluttering calms your feelings and moves. Around. Yes, exactly. That's exactly it. That's a feng shui. And that's a very, I mean, again, like you can do a feng shui to like the nth degree and it's very specific with different colors in certain places, certain colors in certain places of the house or the way things are positioned. I will learn all that at some point. I'm not there yet, but right now I'm into exactly what Allison said. Decluttering calms uh, your feelings and moves energy around because a clean space equals a clean mind. That's where I am at and it works and I've experienced it. And now, you know, prosperity, the feelings that we're getting when that is happening, that's prosperity. It's not yeah. just money prosperity. It's the feelings that you have inside that's going to radiate outwardly. And then you're going to start noticing so much more coming in for you because positive attracts positive, right? Yeah. So that's yeah. the prosperity and the relationship with money, the disconnect between like, don't connect money and prosperity. They're not, they're, they're kind of the same thing, but they're kind of not right. They could be, they could be like interconnected. Interconnected. Uh, yeah. Yes. One of the and things that I want to add to you or like share a story about is like recently I had this client and she, she's been, it's so funny, right? Cause whenever I get clients, it feels like sometimes it's like a mirror. It's like, what the heck? Like, you're working on that. I'm working on that too. And I have to guide you through it. Not have to, but, yeah. you know, like, guiding you through it. Like, okay. And she recently uh, wanted to go shopping. Mm -hmm. And she was like, I want, she was like, I, I got rid of a lot of clothes. She was like, I really feel like they, they brought up so many memories when I was not in a good space. And I'm like, you're very aware. Like, good job, right? And she was recently, she was like, I want to shop for clothes that are colorful and vibrant and brings out this confident in me that was there, never there before. So we did, we went shopping and it was super awesome. But it's like, oh, like even again, like the decluttering, the throwing stuff out, the, 
because even with clothes right like there's a lot of kind of hesitation of oh no like these are clothes like they're so good but it's like no like even that is a lack mindset um yeah. i don't want to throw these clothes out because they're good or whatever it's like donate them yeah right? the moment that you kind of get rid of them and make space for that new to come it's like the energy comes through too right like the energy of who she wants to come or be coming is like coming through with like the clothes that she's buying Absolutely. which again, resonates because before we got on i was like oh my hair and like you know who I want to become. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The relationship looks her. fabulous. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> new you, new start, new chapter, right? Yeah, exactly. And exactly. it's funny that we're talking about this right now because right before we started, I pulled a card, a tarot card, oh. and specifically about like our talk and we weren't really getting into feng shui or anything, but I pulled the death card. Ooh, the death of like old old and we were just <laughs> literally talking about this and I'm like oh my god we're talking about getting out out with the old and in with the new decluttering getting rid of things oh, yes. so the death card you guys is not a negative card I absolutely love the death card because the death card is saying that with um when something's going on in your life it you know something that maybe is making you feel a certain way and it's not really the best it's gonna be gone and you're gonna start fresh and new so i think this is a good time i mean spring is here start thinking about spring cleaning getting rid of things yeah. changing that energy flow getting that feng shui going so you're feeling like you can bring in more prosperity and positivity in your life the death yeah. card let's let's get out let's get all that stagnance out let's remove all that stagnance and if you're unable, like I was going to say, like if you're unable to, like, where do I start, right? I love affirmations, positive affirmations, and you can create any one that you want. So if you feel like maybe I'm not fully like, oh, I don't really feel like I'm that blessed or prosperous or whatever. You know, sometimes we have those feelings certain days. I would always start my day with a positive affirmation. And if it's about prosperity, I would say, I want to thank the universe for making me prosperous because I'm already prosperous in my daily life mm -hmm. every day. Thank you. And if you say something to that fact or something, anything that you want to kind of shift around and shift your mindset, you want to sit, tell yourself, I already am. I want to thank the universe for making me prosperous or I am already prosperous. Thank you. I am so blessed. I have so many wonderful things. Thank you. And when you constantly reiterate the same positivity, then you're going to start shifting your mind. And it's true. I mean, it's a true statement. You're going to really, truly believe it in, inside of you. Like you're going to start going, you know what? I am. I, you know what? Yes, I am going to declutter. I am going to shift. I am going to say more positive things about myself. Yeah. And then that right there is going to make you more of an abundant and a prosperous person. And that's, it's an entirety, right? You'll be more fulfilled in all aspects and you're going to feel more alignment within yourself. Yeah. So, yeah. Yes. That is like yeah. a beautiful way to end this show. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I totally love it. Thank you for your <laughs> affirmations. <laughs> And if you're watching and you want to go through that again, like go back a few minutes, like close your eyes and just listen to Sarah. Yeah. And yes. And repeat them to yourself. I love affirmations. <laughs> and, and create your own. I just pulled something out. You just create your own. Just say it over and over. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's awesome. So I we are just about at the end of our show and we hope that everyone enjoyed. And if anybody has any questions, questions or wants to comment, we'll be happy to answer any questions. Or if you want to make any other comments for yourself and wants to throw something out there that maybe we forgot. Totally. Yes. Absolutely. Like let's yeah. talk. Yeah. So for your disagree with any of this, let us know. <laughs> yes. Thank you everybody for listening in and we hope you all have an amazing, prosperous, uh, fabulous, amazing day. <laughs> yeah. We'll see you next time.